I grew up in Kansas uh, in the 1950s and 1960s. Uh, I grew up in a place where uh, there wasn't a lot of science that was done. And so we got our science through a few really great teachers and through uh, looking at things like National Geographic and uh, things like that. What happened to me was that uh, my parents were very open-minded uh, and they encouraged me to be open-minded. And, and I can remember a story in National Geographic uh, about some fossil human remains. And it just completely, you know, it surprised me. Because I had heard as I grew up, you know, nobody had said anything about a long history or fossils or said anything about those. And here in this magazine was a story about two million year old humans. And it was an eye opener where I just couldn't believe that uh, there was so much history and it was so interesting to think that humans and other animals had changed through time. And that kind of took me to the point of thinking, well, you know, someday I'd like to become a paleontologist. I'd like a th to think about this stuff, think about how our ancient ancestors used to use, used to use stone tools uh, to work with things and understand how a world like this with humans in it actually came to be.